Hi, hello, welcome to this online lesson. So, as you see, the aim of this lesson is uh, learning these two, uh, these two aspect of English. Uh, so we will learn there is and are. We will look at some examples regarding uh, these sentences, and we will also learn about quantif quantifiers such as some, any, a few, and a lot. And we will use uh, Safranbolu, which is a county of uh, Karabük. Uh, and this lesson will approximately take uh, 30 minutes. So, <clears throat> so as you see, uh, so there is, there are. So um, in this in this part there are in this uh, part of the photograph there are three there are three uh, there are three objects or or animals. I'm not sure. Besides, I'm not sure it is a photograph. Actually, it is a it is a like a picture or. Uh, illustration uh, okay so as you can guess this is my hometown and it looks it looks amazing and very natural and in a year lots of tourists lots of tourists visit here mm. and so in that picture I used there is and so in that one I should use there are because uh, there are more there are more than one house so uh, let's look at that graphic to understand that better so is can used only uh, <coughs> telling about one thing like there is a boy there is a book there is an apple there is a car there is a woman there is a woman uh, but uh, on the contrary we use R uh, to in in plural uh, sentences like two oranges there are true there are two oranges there are three people there are five glasses there are six six women and be careful to don't forget to make woman plural and there are uh, four girls um, okay so in that sentence I used there is so okay let's read that together there is a faculty of architecture and a vocational high school dedicated to restoration in Safranbolu, which provide technical support uh, to the municipality in the field of conservation. And so in another sentence, there are no windows on the street frontage so that stone walls resemble extension of garden walls so these both sentences are actually telling something about uh, that county uh, so we can also use use with contraction like that or like so there is faculty of architecture and a vocational high school dedicated to restoration in Safranbolu which provide technical support to the municipality in the field of conservation and also we can uh, we can also write aren't in that way so and but you can ask me there must be you must think that so what is the difference so the difference is so in in formal writing it is not very good to use contractions 
I don't know why, but it is it is not very very good for your writings. Um, and let's look at more samples. <clears throat> there are around thirty mosques. The oldest one is Suleiman Pasha, Jami, which mosque, but uh, from from the Jandarolari period, 14th century. So, this picture uh, describe the difference uh, describes the difference between there is and there are. So, as you see, there is a fireplace in the in picture in picture A, but there isn't a fireplace in picture B. So, as you see, there is no fireplace here, so um, it help. This picture helps you to uh, understand the negative form of uh, there is. So, so let's let's emphasize the form of there is in that sentence in that uh, paragraph so there is the is that Pasha Moskwe is that Pasha had the water arch built here which is seven and a half kilometers away from the center this way the water that comes to Safranbolo is divided to seven ways which lets the folk get the water easily the arch that is on the Tokatlu Canyon is uh, 60 meters high from the ground and 160 meters long. The water that flows through the arch is known as Pasha water. Okay, there is another. There is a signature of this. Wait. Um, can. There is a signature of the Sultan Selim tree on the mihrab of Zed Pasha Mosque, which is like a smaller version of version of the Nuri Osmania Mosque in Istanbul. Okay, let's emphasize that too. Okay, so there is one signature. As you see, it's not plural. There, if there is a signatures, we must change it as a there are. And also, yeah, like that. So let's look at other samples. So this is Hudurluk Hill, and it is Hudurluk Hill is the first, and also be careful the comma here is the is the first settlement of Turks. It has two open worship areas which were used for Hydrella celebration and rain prayers before. Uh, there are, okay, let's emphasize that. There are graves of Turkish War of Independence heroes Dr. Ali Aver Ataman, Hazir Pasha, and the district governor Hassan Pasha. There is also A small plane on this hill. This plane was a gift from plane committee. Okay, as you see, there is also small small plane on this hill. So the sentence is not plural. Okay, let's make it. So there are graves. So it is plural, and we used R here. As you can exp expect, so graves of Turkish War of Independence heroes. So it is plural too. Okay, let's uh, let's find uh, there is and uh, the, let's find sentences which 
includes there is and there are here in Haji Salih Pasha house there are two separate entrances and staircases for the harem and salon the quarters so as you see we used there are here and rest of the sentences plural 